But we do Hunger Games. Uh, what are we so looking act at? Of, well, Act of Valor, which again was another movie which I saw completely without having any prior knowledge of it at all because I was trying to get screenings out of the way before I came away to America. Um, uh, and uh, here's, here's how it's described itself. An unprecedented blend of real-life heroism and original filmmaking, Act of Valor stars a group of active-duty Navy SEALs in a powerful story of contemporary global anti-terrorism. Inspired by true events, the film combines stunning combat sequences, up-to-the-minute battlefield technology and heart-pumping emotion for the ultimate action-adventure. That's their version. Here's a clip. Just before my father died, he said the worst thing about growing old was that it gets harder to protect the things that matter. Honour, freedom, justice... And family. Those things are sacred. You live your life by a code, an ethos. Every man does. It's your shoreline. It's what guides you home. And trust me, you're always trying to get home. See, the interesting thing is, I interviewed Tim Robbins a while ago, and Tim Robbins uh, said that act- if anybody wanted to make an interesting documentary about uh, modern American cinema, they should look at how much money is invested in cinema by the military. And he was talking specific- specifically about Top Gun and saying, if you look at how much that movie would have cost if you if you wrote out the amount of money that had effectively been put into it by the use of uh, you know airplanes and ships by the military, who what his point was, essentially it's working as a recruitment advert. And consequently, the film can only exist because it's effectively being funded by that. Now, in the case of Act of Valor, when, you know, it's this thing about, you know, actually really does have real active duty Navy SEALs in there. At the beginning of the movie, watching the movie with no knowledge of it at all other than the, uh, than the title, I sat there and there's a thing at the beginning when the two directors, I don't know whether this is in the release version, but in the version that I got in, the two directors stand there and say to you, we decided there was only one way to do this story. The only one way to get the integrity was to get the real people who really did the thing and really and there. And I, act, I thought, I gen- hand on my heart, I thought, OK, it's, we, we, it's a comedy. It's going to be a, it's a kind of spinal. Ta- it's a sort of tropic thunder type spoof because the 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 sight of the directors explaining to you how the the only way of doing this toy with integrity was to get the real people and they're re- out there with. I thought it was a gag, and then the film began, and then you were, oh no, it's not a gag. It's it's a nuts and bolts action thriller, which has been you know which in, uses the involvement of people who've really been involved in combat, but being salty with this, as you heard from that clip. That absolutely full-on, completely non-ironic, a story of true heroism. And I promise you, the beginning, I thought it was a gag. And then you realise it's not it's not Tropic Thunder, although actually it is Tropic Thunder, but it's Tropic Thunder without the gag, without the gags played straight. And, I, you know, I would be very, very surprised if it finds in the UK anything like the traction it's had in the US. Uh, certainly that opening sequence with the, with the directors explaining the film, which as I said, I don't know whether or not that's, that's going to be in the release version that was in the version that I was shown. I thought for the first five minutes, this I'm about to watch a comedy. I didn't realise that what I was about to watch was something which was taking itself completely seriously. But in, in, in the States has, was, it, gonna, has it been received? It's done fine. It cost, it, cost, cost, it cost very little and has more than made its money back and has been well received. But, it, but I doubt that that's going to find any traction outside of the U.S.